do get a lot of questions about people who worry maybe about the energy in their house and want to know well, how, to, how to bring in luck into their house. Yes, indeed, because you see sometimes people um, who are going through a very difficult time will receive the presence of an angel or they will receive mm. the presence of a loved one or they will receive the presence of some blessing, whether it comes from the Ascended Masters, the fairies, as Helen was telling us earlier, the divas energies, the elementals. And if you're unused to feeling that energy around mm -hmm. you, it will feel very, very big. Like, what is that? But, sure. You know, yeah. it, it is almost as though it will be a disturbing change of what you know is normal. Yeah. And because you can't put your finger on it, that becomes a real concern. Um, so people call up and they say, oh, I've had this terrible experience and I'm really, really scared. And when you open up and you just tune into it clairvoyantly and you say, oh, well, actually, you know, here's your auntie yeah. who's uh, coming yeah. to visit with you. And then it's almost like the fear is just gone, yeah. just completely dissipating. And then as you open up the interpretation of the energy, and it may not be a loved one, it could be an angel. It could be your own guides. It could be an ascended master mm -hmm. who's come to give you protection. Or indeed, it could be um, a guide who's come to say to you, your feng shui is terrible in the house. You've got to make your um, wealth corner a little bit more highlighted. You've right. got to do something in your love corner. You've got to move the couch from that wall to that wall mm -hmm. because it's blocking the energy. Yeah. But the feng shui uh, principle is um, laying the dragon because they all believe that the dragon's energy oh, and the earth yeah, vibration, yeah. right, yeah. is what is in the house. So you have to find the way to lay the dragon's energy in the house so the dragon is asleep. So all the energy is oh. moving beautifully and smoothly and calmly in the house. I just think that's a beautiful that image. That is, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. Um, Donald Trump. Yes. Very successful man, most of you know, billionaire. Uh, he actually employed somebody, a feng shui expert, to work on his big building he did. Uh, for two years because she said, oh, it was just shocking when she first got there. Mm -hmm. Everything was wrong and it mm -hmm. was a huge skyscraper of a building. They couldn't knock it down and start from scratch. No. So she spent two years working on yes, it. Yes, rounding out the corners, doing the internal architecture of the yeah. building. And that building that was making a loss has translated into an right. uh, absolutely success yeah. now. And every time he constructs a building, every time he actually puts a building up somewhere, whether it's a residential block of flats, whether it's another hotel, mm -hmm. whether it's a, a commercial venture, he always, always has his feng shui expert in with the architects doing the blueprints from scratch. He said he would never want to go through that experience again.